Hey guys, today we are going to talk about limiting and excess reagent problems. In most reactions, one reactant is used up before the other reactants. This reactant is called the limiting reagent. The other reactant that is still in abundance is called the excess reagent. So our sample question here for limiting and excess reagent problems is, given the following balanced chemical equation, 2H2 gas plus O2 gas goes to 2H2O. Determine which substance will be in excess and which will be used up if 4.00 moles of H2 and 4.00 moles of O2. So for limiting reagent questions, we make something that's called an earth chart. So we, our earth chart looks like this. Our I stands for initial, R stands for reacted, and F stands for final. So we write out our balanced equation at the top. So you go 2H2 gas plus O2 gas goes to 2H2O gas. So we make a chart. And so it says we are starting off with 4.00 moles of H2 and 4.00 moles of O2. So our ratio for H2 to O2 is 2 to 1. That is the same as the ratio 4 to 2. So for a reacted, we're going to go 4.00 moles reacted because of our 4 in our ratio. And then for O2, we only go 2.00 moles are reacted because we always need to get rid of one reactant. So 4 equals 4 here. You always want to make sure 1 is going to be 0. So then you subtract the initial and the reactant to get the final. So for H2, you subtract 4 minus 4 gives you 0 moles. And for O2, it's 4 minus 2, so that gives you 2.00 moles. For H2O, for the initial and the reacted, it's always X, and then there are four moles reacted, and that ratio is 2 to 2 for H2 and H2O, so you produce 4.00 moles of H2O in your product. So now to determine the limiting reagent and the excess reagent, we just look at our answer. So we have zero moles of H2O and 2.00 moles of O2 gas. So that means that our H2 is the limiting rea reagent because it ran out. We got zero moles of H2 before we got to zero moles of O2, and there are two moles of O2 left over, which means O2 is our excess reagent. Hopefully that helped you with limiting and excess reagent problems.